Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Entertainment. This is Sufita. I am a third year medical student in BGS Medical College, Bangalore. And in today's video, I am going to be talking to you guys about some popular study techniques that I don't like using. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because if you have been in the study tube for a while, you will realize that every single day there is a new study technique that is popping up. But one thing you have to realize is that just because something works, for 90% of the people, it is not necessary that it should work for you too. So over the years, there have been a lot of study techniques that I have stopped using. Here's why and what I use instead of them. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, making notes. Now before anybody starts jumping on me, asking me how can you read without making notes? Well, to be very honest, notes don't really work well for me at all. I know I have seen a lot of people making pretty and aesthetic notes with beautiful handwritings and different colored pens but to me personally I just feel it's a waste of time because I'm essentially just copying whatever is given in the textbook to another piece of paper and whenever I read the notes I'm just going to be rereading it and there's no active engagement with the content that is happening. It's not that I have never made notes, I have made notes before but they always have been lying in the closet and I know I never ever read them. So instead of this what I used to do before is that I used to take a lot of practice papers and question papers and I actually used to sit down and write answers and see how much I remember and compare it with the textbook and read whatever I had left out. But now I have upgraded to a little bit of a better version and that is active recall and space repetition using apps like Anki or RenNote where you are not just reading your notes, you are trying to ask yourself questions and you are trying to actively retrieve information from your brain. I think this is something that works very well for me. If notes work well for you, you should stick to it. But I think this is a better thing that helps me remember and recall stuff better. Number two is the Pomodoro technique. This is yet another popular study technique that a lot of people follow where you are setting up a timer for studying for 25 minutes and then you take a 5 minute break. For me, this doesn't work because I need at least 15 to 20 minutes to get into the flow of studying and my peak concentration is at around 25 minutes. But if you're telling me to take a break just when I'm about to, you know, focus, I don't think it works really well and 5 minutes break seems very, very meager to me. I like taking longer breaks. So instead of Pomodoro, what I like to follow is something I call the Sacharo slash Conceptodoro technique. It's not an actual word, I just came up with it. Essentially, if I am studying a topic that I am interested in, I am going to follow the concept of Doro technique where I am going to read until I finish that particular concept. Because if it is something that I am like very interested in, I know I can study for like 2 hours straight. But if it is a topic that I am not very interested in, I know my attention span is up to like 1 hour 30 minutes. That's when I get saturated. So I just push myself to study up until 1 hour 30 minutes because I know I can read up until then. And after this 1 hour 30 minutes is done, I just take a longer break of like half an hour. That's when I feel a little bit more relaxed rather than taking just 5 minute breaks and you know, uh, stopping at every 25 minutes to take a break. Number 3, Highlighting. Now, I know a lot of people like to highlight important things when you're reading or in your textbook, but I personally don't like highlighting because it is so distracting. I cannot look at all those orange, neon and pink colors and underlined things on my textbook. I need my textbook to be clean. I cannot read it when there is highlighted things at all. I think one of the reasons why a lot of people like to highlight things is because it is important, because you want to remember, right? 
So instead of this, what I like doing, as I've already said, is I like to make questions out of things that I think is important. And these questions, I make them as flashcards in apps like Anki or Remnote, so that I am not only trying to reread stuff, I am trying to actively recall and retain the information. Number four, using textbooks as your sole source of knowledge. Now, I think nowadays the trend is changing a little bit, but uh, for a very long time, it has been the central dogma of education that the only place where you can gain knowledge is either from your lectures or from your textbooks. I don't like this concept at all because I personally believe that you gain a lot more knowledge from practical stuff. You gain a lot more knowledge from practically doing things or going, for example, in medicine, having a lot of clinical exposure or doing a lot of case presentations. So most of the times I usually try to avoid reading my textbook. It is the last thing that I open for any topic that I'm trying to learn. So before I open my textbook, I like to look at a lot of case studies, case presentations, or if there are any new research papers, I like to gain a lot of information and background information about the topic. And then I like to look at my lectures or read from my textbook. For example, uh, for quite a long time now, I have been watching a YouTube channel called White Army, which is doing a lot of case presentations, a lot of uh, clinical information that it is giving, it is acting like a savior for all medical students. So before I start reading any topic, I like to go and look at the case presentations that has been done there. Now when I do this, I know what topics I have to focus on when I read the textbook. I'll also at the same time understand what type of questions the examiner will be asking me. So once you know all these background knowledge, then even reading your standard textbooks become so much easier because you know what you have to focus on now. So these are all the study techniques that I like using instead of some of the popular study techniques that don't suit me well. If there are some techniques that you guys feel don't suit you, please let me know in the comment section below and also let us know what you use instead. Maybe it is something that we can adapt in our lives too. I hope that this video was helpful to you guys and if it did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Meet you next time. Bye.